How to Reverse Type 2 Diabetes with a Low-Carb, High-Fat Diet Are you someone who has been diagnosed with type 2 diabetes? Or are you concerned about being at risk for it? If that's the case, you've come to the right place. This guide will provide you with an overview of how to manage and reverse type 2 diabetes. Dietary modifications have resulted in improved health for many individuals with diabetes or prediabetes. You can do the same. These adjustments may assist you in decreasing or eliminating your diabetes medication, as well as in promoting weight loss. What is diabetes? Diabetes is a condition characterized by issues with blood sugar, glucose, and insulin. Insulin, a hormone produced by the pancreas, lowers blood sugar levels by moving glucose out of the bloodstream and into the body cells. With diabetes, there is a problem with either the production or utilization of insulin. Type 1 diabetes is caused by damage to the pancreas, resulting in an inability to produce insulin. While this type of diabetes is usually diagnosed in childhood, it can also occur in adults. In type 2 diabetes, both insulin deficiency, resulting from defects in insulin production by the pancreas, and insulin resistance, an inability of the body to use insulin effectively, are present. As damage to the insulin-producing cells in the pancreas progresses, the pancreas becomes unable to release enough insulin to overcome the body's resistance, leading to elevated blood sugar levels. Excess glucose in the blood is problematic because it can harm blood vessels, and the body's tissues are unable to efficiently use glucose for energy since too much remains in the bloodstream instead of entering cells. It's essential to realize that high glucose levels are a consequence of a long-standing underlying process that can occur for many years before blood sugar levels become elevated. The good news is that diet and exercise can reduce insulin resistance, which is often accompanied by weight gain, and may assist in preventing or even reversing diabetes. How to test your blood sugar To determine if you have high blood sugar, you can easily test for it using a blood glucose meter, either at the doctor's office or by yourself. Please note the following ranges for blood sugar levels. Normal blood sugar, less than 100 milligrams per deciliter, 5.6 millimoles per liter after fasting overnight, and up to 140 milligrams per deciliter, 7.8 millimoles per liter, two hours after a meal. Pre-diabetes, between 100 to 125 milligrams per deciliter, 5.6 to 7.0 millimoles per liter after fasting overnight or higher than 140 milligrams per deciliter, 7.8 millimoles per liter, two hours after a glucose tolerance test. Diabetes, 126 milligrams per deciliter, 7.0 millimoles per liter or higher after fasting overnight, or higher than 200 milligrams per deciliter, 11.1 millimoles per liter at any time. However, it is important to note that blood glucose meter readings alone are not enough to diagnose diabetes or prediabetes. A healthcare provider's blood test is required to confirm a diagnosis. Additionally, a single abnormal reading is usually not enough for a diagnosis. Multiple readings are necessary. Finally, if you are on a low-carbohydrate diet, you should be aware that this diet can affect your blood sugar measurements. The link between food and diabetes. People with diabetes struggle to maintain normal blood sugar levels. The source of sugar in the blood is both the liver and the food consumed. And while we cannot control the amount of sugar produced by the liver, we can control the type and amount of food consumed. Foods can be classified into three main groups carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. Carbohydrates, which can come from sugars or starches, turn into glucose when digested and cause an increase in blood sugar levels. Consuming starchy foods, such as rice, pasta, and potatoes, can have the same effect on blood sugar as consuming sugary foods. 
while protein-containing foods such as eggs, poultry, meat, seafood, and tofu have little to no effect on blood sugar, fat alone does not affect blood sugar levels. However, some foods high in both carbohydrates and fat, such as donuts and french fries, are likely to raise blood sugar significantly. To learn how different foods affect one's blood glucose level, you can test your blood sugar before eating and at 30-minute intervals for up to two hours after eating. How to lower high blood sugar levels through dietary changes. Removing foods that cause high blood sugar from your diet is a good strategy, and there are still plenty of delicious foods left to eat. A low-carb, high-fat diet is particularly effective for people with type 2 diabetes, as it typically leads to immediate improvements in blood sugar levels, weight loss, and other health markers. Healthier-looking skin, a burst of energy, a better mood, and more. However, it's important to work with your healthcare provider to adjust medications when changing your diet. Diabetes Reversal – The Science Behind It the American Diabetes Association, ADA, has stated that decreasing carbohydrate intake is the best nutritional approach to improving blood sugar control in individuals with diabetes. Scientific research shows that low-carbohydrate diets are a safe and effective treatment option for type 2 diabetes. Systematic reviews and meta-analyses of randomized, controlled trials have provided the strongest evidence to support this claim. A 2017 meta-analysis discovered that low-carbohydrate diets reduced the need for diabetes medication and improved various biomarkers in people with type 2 diabetes. These included reduced levels of hemoglobin A1c, HbA1c, triglycerides, and blood pressure, as well as increased levels of high-density lipoprotein HDL cholesterol. A non-randomized trial from Verta Health showed that following a very low-carbohydrate diet and receiving remote monitoring by healthcare professionals for a year resulted in 94% of the low-carb group reducing or stopping their insulin use. Moreover, 25% of the group had an HGB-A1C reading in the normal range without taking any medication, indicating remission of their disease. An additional 35% achieved the same results using only metformin. The majority of subjects continued to show sustained improvement in glycemic control after two years. Various other intervention methods have also proven effective in inducing remission of type 2 diabetes, although there is a lack of consistency in how different trials define remission. The direct trial showed that severe caloric restriction, eating around 850 calories per day, resulted in 46% remission at one year. Bariatric surgery demonstrated between 25% and 50% diabetes remission up to 10 years after surgery. Overall, the evidence suggests that type 2 diabetes is a treatable disease, and it does not have to be a progressive and irreversible condition. Half a century ago, type 2 diabetes was a rare condition, but today it's a worldwide epidemic with more than 600 million people expected to have it by 2030. For a long time, type 2 diabetes was considered a progressive disease with no hope for reversal. But now we know that high blood sugar and high insulin levels that are characteristic of the disease can often be reversed with a very low-carb diet, severe caloric restriction, or weight loss surgery. The Winds of Change people no longer have to just manage their diabetes as it progresses. Instead, they can often reduce their blood sugar to normal levels with diet alone, and may be able to avoid or stop taking most medications. Returning to normal blood sugar levels and fewer or no medications may assist in avoiding disease progression and complications. A person diagnosed with type 2 diabetes can live a long and healthy life with their toes, eyesight, and kidneys, among other things, intact. People who aren't taking any medications can start their journey back to health immediately. But those taking diabetes or other medications should consult their doctor before making any lifestyle changes, such as a low-carb diet, 
so that their medications can be adjusted safely as their blood sugar levels improve. Take care of your body. It will pay off.